Hello everybody, Dick Vick here and welcome to another interior showcase video. Today we're going to be going over all the 2x2 brakes from every manufacturer, starting with Tayo Astroneering. I'm going to start off in this little armory room. You have a weapons case down there and you have two weapons racks up top. These lockers are inoperable. You can't open or put anything in them. I'm not sure why. Beautiful little window here where you can stare at your security cameras and look over one of the cells. You can't quite see the other one, especially with the door shut. You have a nice administrator's desk right here. And I love the beautiful shelving over there, really good storage. Then you come out into this other room and it's like a little supply area where you're just keeping like toiletries, bathrooms. Apparently you light this place with construction lights, figure that one out. These are literally from our time period now, they do not fit here. Uh, or I guess if it's not broke, don't fix it. They have a beautiful bathroom right here. See in here, you got a little shower with a little rope on it, which I'm not sure if that would even be allowed in a prison. And like wrapping around someone's neck and stuff. I'm not sure how violent the people we're keeping in here are. Got a pretty little whiteboard here. Apparently my companion is sweeping. She does not come with the module. We just happen to be in security guard objects. Uh, when you come in here, beautiful little cell. I do like these cots in the cell. Um, I think they actually fit a lot better in here than the crew quarters. They're just very, very simple and minimalistic. Uh, these are a little sharp though. You could bash some people's head in there. So make sure your people like each other in the same cell. Like, it could be quite dangerous. They have a toilet, no shower in there. Got your little breathy holes and your talk through holes. Come around here, there's another prison cell, there's a little bench here, get people changed and dressed on. Got two security cameras, one in here, one over your administrator. Can't, can't trust this guy, whoever sits at this desk. And this desk, like, reminds me of, like, the old sheriff's desks in, like, western movies and stuff, where you walk into a prison and there's just, like, a desk sitting next to your cells or something. It's a little odd that it's completely exposed. Uh, you have two TVs right here, and you have this display case that you can't open, so I guess maybe you could phase things through it to interior decorate it. But overall, I'm pretty under-impressed with the Briggs in this game. Um, four of them are basically identical, and Nova Galactic is the only different layout, which is really, really sad. But we're going to jump up here in the Hope Tech. Now, the Hope Tech and the Tios are always the same. This one's a different little poster. There's super minute details that are different. Minute to minute. I don't know what minute is, if that's even a word. But the same exact bathroom, same lights, same cameras same everything you come in here you've got the same two desks same weapon lockers you don't even get a chair here without the ladder here surprisingly inoperable ladders same shelves um i do like this color scheme but like i don't know if it works in a break i think you'd want the break to be bright and vibrant so like make sure you can see everything they're doing any slight hand movements no shadows and things like that you have the exact same desk over here exact same more storage over there and the exact same display case here now we're going to move up into the Nova Galactic, the only one that's different. And you're going to have this beautiful little coffee table. And like, you're not just in a room. You've got the little sheriff's desk here, overlooks these two prison cells, which, I mean, I like. And actually might, this looks kind of like it could be a door that slides across or comes, no, it's broken in half here. So no door. So it's just you and the prisoners if they manage to get out of these cells somehow. Uh, you do have a bathroom in like approximately the same location. However, it is the uh, different type of bathroom. It's unfortunate because I really prefer the other bathrooms. Some beautiful shelving. Come across here. You've got a cell on the left and a cell on the right. If we peek in here, you only have one bed per cell compared to the two. So you could technically only host two people in here uh, with proper accommodations. I mean, you could put like 13 people in here. They could all sleep on the floors and figure their darn lives out. Uh, I love this little beautiful little center console thing here. Not sure what its point is in the brig. Exact same cell over here. You can see there's nothing special in there. This has got the big old metal toilet. Come around here, you got med packs on the wall. She might actually need an imprisoned cell if these guys get at each other in the brig. And you have this like control area back here, which this is a lot of panels and a lot of stuff to be in a brig. Like, what are you monitoring? This many systems in here. Unless they just need like an extra engineering station. They're like, yeah, I'm just throw them in the brig. Overall though, I think it's a lot of wasted space in this brig. But this is probably my favorite brig out of all of them so far. Beautiful little white fur. I hate space. Well then why are you in space? On daily diagnostics. Yeah, it's like I said, it's probably like an engineering station. Jumping up into the Stroud Eklund. We're gonna jump up into this exact same weapons room. Slight difference. You don't have the shelf back here. You don't have the weapons crate on the bottom. You've got some of this stuff instead. Yes, these walls do look different. The color schemes are different. It's cleaner. However, it's the exact same loadout or layout. Um, you have come in here. You can have your storage area over here. You've got the same bathrooms. 
different bathrooms, but like same exact location. I love these bathrooms. They're just proper RV bathrooms compared to the Nova Galactics. Come across here. You've got the Stroud Eklund bag layout with the double L's, very clean, minimalistic cells. There's probably the least stuff in here that they could hurt themselves on compared to some of the other cells. So I prefer these cells over the other ones, to be honest. Got the exact same bench layout, another prison cell over here, the cameras. Come across here, you've got this exact same Western administrative desk in this back room with nothing really on the left and nothing on the right. I've just storage, and yeah, I know that was backwards, rights, and lefts, but you know, we got to both, and it happens. We're gonna move on over here to the final one, the Demos. Run up in the Demos. We are greeted directly into a bathroom, which is in this corner, which again, it's the exact same general layout. You have the cell on the left, cell on the right, door in the middle, western desk over there, little armory room right here. It is insane to me that Tayo, Hope Tech, Stroud, and Demos are almost identical layouts. Like, tiny details. Usually there's three different layouts. Someone got lazy. Or they ran out of time, they rushed this out. I don't know what the deal is. By the way, everyone, let me know in the comments what your favorite is. Mine is the Nova Galactic, because it's different. Let's just go with that one, because even it's not great. It's like an engineering station in the middle of a brig. Um, honestly, they're just giant void open spaces that I think you could find more useful stuff to put in your ship. So, I'll see you in the next one, everyone. Big figure out! Bye!